All right, I'm going to show you guys the, one of the steps in constructing the homemade rocket. Uh, you have to make a nose cone. We're going to make a nose cone out of pork, which works really good. This one was a botched one, so I'm going to use it as a demo, and I'm going to sand, sand it smooth. So I'm sanding off some of that glue. And I'm going to sand off some glue there. And hit this larger nose cone or a larger cork. Now you notice I've already glued those two together, or a student glued those two together. And now I'm going to glue these two onto the larger one. And all you have to do is essentially just take a drop of glue. You don't have you don't need a lot of glue. Once you glue it on there, it should stay on there if you if you got if you held it on there fairly long. Say about a couple about maybe 10, 15 seconds. Try to get it Try to get it as straight as you can. Um, so, try, in other words, try to, these. The bottom of these quartz, the top two quartz, are the same diameter as the top of the one below it. So, you should be able to get this uh, nice and level. And then set that aside. We're going to end up working on that later. Now, uh, one of the, it's important that you put launch lugs on the rocket. You want to put them away from the engine clip. So the way I would do it is just, and I would put two on there just as a precaution. Just put a bead of glue in between the body tube and uh, a fin, and then take the launch lug and just prop it, pop it in there. Very simple. I'm going to put one over here. And, uh, and I'm just going to pop it in there. So. Uh, the, the, the fin gives it added support, and the, and the, and the uh, launch lug may give the fin a little support. So that's how you do the nose cone and the uh, launch lug. Now, you'll notice that this rocket has fins on it. A uh, student designed these fins. This, is, this was a student design, and this is a student design. So the, uh, what you have to do is go on SketchUp or any other CAD program that you can convert the uh, drawing into a STL file and design your fin. So this particular design, uh, this one's about 1.5 1, 1. millimeters thick, thick. This one's one millimeter thick. So uh, if, you, if you have, if it's thicker, it's more stable, it's less likely to flop around. If this thing moves during flight, it's not going to provide stability. So that's, so you, when you, when you, you sacrifice stability by having a lighter fin. So consider that. So you might even want to make a smaller fin that's thicker, but I wouldn't go much over two millimeters on the thickness. So once you've designed that, convert it to an STL, and we'll print it out, and then you'll glue it on as I have here. And what I would do is, uh, once you've, the glue is dried, about once every class period, just shore it up by putting a bead of uh, glue, and you can get messy with it, it doesn't hurt. Actually, the glue is, laminates the, uh, the paper it makes it stronger, so it kind of plasticizes it. So you can uh, apply some glue in between the fin and the body tube, and that'll that'll reduce the likelihood this comes off during flight. You, you, when you when you fasten these onto the body tube, you're going to use a, a tiny drop of hot glue at the top and the bottom. That'll anchor it, and then the rest is glue. If you use hot glue, when we fire the rocket engine, it's going to melt the hot glue and these fins will immediately fall off. That's dangerous when we have a rocket engine that burns for up to 10 inches or 10 seconds like we do with the, our, our, our CMD engines in there. So be careful that you have that glued on with probably 90, 95% glue, 5% uh, hot glue. That's it.